it's Reija and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do another Booktube SFF Awards Bubbles topic and today's topic is SFF books that I wish would get adapted to the screen. And without further ado, let's get started. The first book on my list should come as no surprise to anyone who has followed me any length of time, and that is uh, the Riverside series by Ellen Kushner, some of which is written by Delia Sherman and other writers, and specifically Swords Point. This is a fantasy of manners following a swordsman called Richard St. Vere, who is a very deadly, uh, a skilled swordsman for hire, and how he gets entangled in, in the political maneuverings of the nobles in his town, and also his romant romantic entanglements with a man called Alec, who is also a noble. And this is my favorite book of all time, so of course I would love to see it adapted, and I actually have a pretty specific fan cast in mind for Richard St. Vere, and that is Adam Driver. I may not enjoy Kylo Ren, but I enjoy uh, Ky the Kylo Ren aesthetic, and Richard St. Vere is that sort of man, and that aesthetic would fit him very well. So I would very much like Adam Driver portraying Richard, and I think that this series and this book specifically would work very well as a sort of BBC kind of period uh, mini drama. And yeah, I would just love to see someone uh, adapt this. The next series I want to see adapted is the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. Uh, this is a post-apocalyptic uh, survival story with a lot of magical elements that are steeped in geology and kind of like geological sciences. And also this world is populated by so many diverse people. You could have a pretty much like, like majority black cast for this uh, specific trilogy. And I would just like to see something like that happen because you don't get to see um, a lot of like black-led uh, fantasy uh, or science fiction in mainstream uh, television. So I would really want someone to adapt this for the small screen. This would work very well as a TV series. Next book I want to see adapted is the Rivers of London series by Ben Aronovich. Think of police procedurals in the vein of Broad, Broadchurch and Hinterland um, and also like the bridge, but with magical elements and magical, um, magical crimes with a wizard detective and you get Reverse of London. I just think that this would be a magnificent uh, story to tell on, on TV. There's already a huge amount of books and storylines to pull from, so like they're basically already written <laughs> and the characters are amazing. Like the banter between Nightingale and Peter Grant is just wonderful and there's that mentor um, apprentice relationship that you see in a lot of pol police procedurals anyway. So I would really want someone like the writing team behind Broadchurch to tackle this uh, story. Then I have Under the Pendulum Sun by Je Jeanette Ng, and this is a gothic horror slash Victorian um, transgressive romance uh, with a twist, and this would work very well as a sort of period um, movie. And it has fae, it has lots of like dark and um, twisty things about it. Someone like Guillermo del Toro would, would have a field day with this book. 
and I honestly feel that someone like him will end up adapting this because this has some really gorgeous imagery. Uh, the storyline is really transgressive and kind of uh, stomach turning at times, uh, but also very ethereal and magical. And parts of this book really made my like skin crawl because of all the uh, horror elements that this has and I really liked it so I would want to see a very dark and twisty uh, period drama adaptation of this. And then I have a manga on my list and that is Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromu Arakawa. I generally am not for live-action adaptations of manga because there is a certain kind of aesthetic and a certain kind of uh, flow to the action in a manga, which is better handled in animation, I think. But Full Metal Alchemist is one of those rare occasions where I think a Hollywood adaptation would actually benefit it. Mainly because the cast is so diverse, you have Caucasian characters, Asian characters, black characters, all sorts of different types of characters, so a uh, western adaptation of this story would actually probably work very well. Uh, this story takes a lot of inspiration from both Asian and western settings, uh, the main setting of Amestres is uh, heavily inspired by World War II era Germany and Britain. And also there is like um, inspiration from old Chinese uh, empires and such. So I think that this would do very well as a sort of dramatization with lots of cooperation from different countries to max out the diversity and the sort of um, settings that this story needs to be told in, uh, in full. And this is one of my favorite manga series of all time, and I would hesitantly want to see a Western adaptation of it. But it has already gotten two adaptations in anime form, so if it doesn't end up happening, I'm already set. And the final series I would want to get adapted is the Sixth World series by Rebecca Roanhorse. Uh, this is a urban fantasy post-apocalyptic story set in the Navajo res uh, Reservation, uh, the Dineta Nation, uh, which was formerly the Navajo Reservation before the apocalypse. And I just think that this would make a fantastic television series. You could have a majority uh, indigenous cast and there's a lot of magic and a lot of uh, interesting world building details and interesting monsters and, um, and creatures that Western audiences may not have previously been exposed to. So I think that this would be a fantastic series to put on the television screen. And there you have it. Those are all the books that I would want to see adapted. Tentatively, um, I have a bit of a mixed feeling when it comes to adaptations, because especially with regards to books that I really love, because sometimes there is this kind of hesitancy about who will uh, they cast to those, to those roles, and uh, how will the showrunners tell the story, will they explore the same themes as in the books. So any adaptation that actually happens is a kind of bittersweet moment for me. But these are all the books currently that I would be interested in seeing uh, an adaptation from. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!